Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about why the Theta Network is a game changer. So, stay tuned. Okay, let's start by looking at a list of the uh, most populated cities in the United States uh, by the highest population to the lowest. And let's specifically look at San Jose, which is number 10 on the list. I'm picking it because it is close to 1 million. It's uh, 1,021,795 according to this list on Wikipedia. So we're going to use it as an example for what I'm going to talk about, which is why Theta is going to be a game changer. Let's say that at any given time, just one-tenth of one percent of the population of San Jose, which is breaks down to a thousand people, are watching a movie on say Netflix the same movie just for the sake of argument you know that's a tiny tiny percentage of the city of San Jose that is watching a movie on Netflix now under the current method of distributing streaming video that's 1,000 copies of the movie that are having to be sent from the server farm wherever Netflix has their server farm and to those 1,000 residents of San Jose. Now, that is a huge amount of bandwidth for going from Netflix to those 1,000 people in San Jose. Now, if you can reduce that network traffic by, let's say, 99%, that's 1% of those 1,000 people would be 10 people that you would have to send that movie to reducing the bandwidth consumption by 99%. And the way the Theta Network does things is those 10 computers would be relaying that video to the other 990 people in San Jose. So that's referred to as the last mile problem. So if you've got those 10 computers that are relaying video to the other 990, then that movie or data that uh, that movie represents is only having to, for the most part, go within the city of San Jose. So you see all of this buffering going on when you're watching movies if you don't have uh, very good internet and that is the result of the internet not being able to handle the amount of traffic that is being asked of it. And there's only two ways to solve that problem. The first way is to upgrade the internet across the United States at a cost of, say, a trillion dollars. And that's probably way low in the amount of time it would take to lay new fiber optics all across the United States to uh, solve that problem. Or... With the Theta Network, instead of having to increase the capacity of the internet, you are essentially making it 99% more efficient by changing the way you distribute video instead of one-to-one -one from the Netflix servers to each of those thousand people in San Jose. Now you're only having to send it from their servers to say 10 people, and those 10 people's computers are going to be relaying that video to the other 999 computers that are also watching that same movie. And the reality is they're sending it to 10 people, but those 10 people are then relaying it to others who are then relaying it to others. So those 10 people that are receiving the full copy of the movie are not having to service the other 999 people. They're only having to service a portion of those and those that are being receiving the video from the 10 that are getting it from Netflix are then relaying it to others. So this guy is receiving the movie directly from Netflix and he is in turn relaying it to these guys who are in turn relaying it to all these guys. 
and the method that the Theta network uses is patented. So nobody else can turn around and start doing it themselves that way. They would have to come up with a way that would not infringe on the patent of the Theta network to do it. And it really makes no sense for them to spend the kind of money that would be required for them to invent their own method when Theta is out there and Theta will work and it'll be much, much cheaper for Netflix to buy T-Fuel to pay out to use the Theta network as their method of distribution. So, uh, the, I mean, the Theta network is orders of magnitude more efficient than the current method of server farms at Netflix. And you can apply that to YouTube or Hulu or Amazon Prime Video or, or any of those uh, uh, video distribution services out there. They've all got to find a way to, to solve the problem. And the answer is right there in front of them. That is the Theta Network. So it's not something that basically it's the Theta Network is making the use of the Internet 99% more efficient by the way they do things. So people are going to pile on to using the Theta Network and the uh, T-Fuel that is going to be out there for people who are participating in the Theta Network by running an edge node and allowing their computer to utilize the excess bandwidth that they have to relay video to others i mean this thing is just going to blow up so when michelle white dove uh, predicts three thousand dollar theta there's no doubt in my mind but what we're going to get there and and probably go way higher than that in my opinion because you say well that could never happen well that's what they said about bitcoin when it was you know 10 cents per coin Look at it now. It's pushing $28,000. And all it is is a darn cryptocurrency. It doesn't do anything but be a cryptocurrency. Theta does so much more. It can be used as a cryptocurrency. It can be used for any number of things. It can. It's Internet 2.0. It's going to be the way data is moved around the Internet in the future. So anybody that isn't invested in theta is really missing the boat it's only a dollar fifty per token right now and so people should be thinking about that and getting as much theta as they can there's a finite resource of theta at one billion and there's already 55 percent i think it is of those theta are staked or locked up so the uh, amount of available theta is shrinking uh, day by day. So even at a dollar fifty, uh, it's a steal, and you should be getting it. And the other thing that you should be getting is the theta fuel or T fuel because you can pick that up for two and a half, three cents a piece right now. So for four, five thousand dollars, you could have yourself a couple of hundred thousand of those and every penny that it goes up in in price is another thousand two thousand dollars that your t-fuel holdings will grow in value so uh i'll tell you can't say it enough go out there and get some theta go out there and get some t-fuel if you've only got a limited amount of money i, I would say grab t-fuel first try and get yourself a hundred thousand two hundred thousand of them and after you've done that, start trying to build your bag of Theta. You know, I mean, some people disagree. Some people think that you're better off to put your money into the Theta first because it will allow you to generate some T-Fuel. And there, there is that argument. But in my opinion, the value of T-Fuel, which you can get boatloads of for not too much money, is going to go up in price fairly quickly over the next year or two uh, if it takes that long i'd be surprised so you could really increase your net worth with t-fuel in my opinion because it's so cheap it gives you what i talked about in another video it gives you leverage it would have been nice if you had known about theta back when it was still on the ethereum network and you could pick it up for a nickel or 10 cents some of us did that but you may have missed that opportunity but you're, when you consider how high the predictions are for say the token to go, a buck fifty per token is still a really, really good deal.
So you should be out there and getting yourself some. Oh, and the example that I used, San Jose, uh, which has one million uh, population, that was number 10 on the list. There are nine cities above it with greater uh, populations. New York City has eight million in population and Shanghai China has 34 million people and you know they do some video watching and moving data and stuff so uh, think of the possibilities in short Theta is here to stay either get on it and write it or get run over by it your choice well I hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up it really helps out and I'll see you in the next one if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.